More than $300 million in federal funding has been approved for colleges, universities, and K-12 schools in Ohio prepare for the upcoming school year. That's right, $200 million is going to higher education, $100 million to school districts across the state. The aid will be distributed based on enrollment, and it can be used for a variety of needs, including protective equipment, cleaning and sanitation and remote learning. Now, as schools in Ohio prep to reopen, you may be wondering, what about transportation? How is that going to work? And how will superintendents plan on keeping your kids safe on the bus? Many in Mahoning Valley schools are still developing their reopening plans, but we, to today, two school districts explained what they plan on doing. That's our Madison Tromler is live with what parents need to know. Hi, Madison. Good evening, Derek and Lindsay. Yeah, right now in Ohio, schools are required to have transportation for students that meet certain criteria, but a lot of local schools tell me they're still coming up with their plans and they should be set in the coming weeks. However, two local superintendents tell me, although it will be a challenge, they have a plan. As schools develop their reopening plans, transportation is next on the list. Both Austintown and McDonald local school districts say busing routes will go as normal, but students will be required to wear a mask at all times on the bus, along with other added safety measures. What we're trying to do is make sure that we get your kids to school and home as safe as we can. And right now we foresee that being uh, two to a seat with face masks. Austin Town said bus drivers will be required to wear masks as well, but for McDonald, as of now, drivers will make their own choice. McDonald will require family members to sit together, but as of now, Austin Town will not. Both districts will have assigned seating, daily bus cleaning, sanitizer available, and daily prior health screenings. So the other protocol we've agreed to is they're going to, when they load the bus, they'll have assigned seating and they'll start, they'll sit all the way in the back of the bus and then we'll work our way to the front. But as far as social distancing goes, obviously that will be a challenge. And that's why we need, we need to require those masks and go with our sibling groups. You know, we'll, we'll do our best to open up the windows, get as much fresh air into that environment as possible. All school districts tell me more information is to come. To keep up to date, head to our 21 News app and WFMJ.com. Uh, we're going to try to make sure that we have a quality education while kids are being safe. With more local news, I'm Madison Tromler.